Peg Lake Hayden, the name of the builder of this Potomac River dory boat grabbed your attention. Jennifer Doldy, collections manager. The name evokes a pirate-like persona, a man with a peg leg building boats on the shores of the Potomac River in the 20s and 30s and reaping riches. But the story behind the name is serious. Peg leg, Francis Raymond Hayden, lost his leg in a painful accident with an axe while scoring up a timber to be used as a boat's keel. This took place long before he built the museum's big dory. In rural America during this time, an injury like this could have been debilitating, not just for a boat builder, but for any man. A letter from Pegleg's brother to his wife illustrates how Raymond's life could have been much different had he not married a supportive woman. Without Tony, we may not have had Pegleg's legacy, his dory boat, in our collection. April 30th, 1937. Dear Sister Tony, Sister Aggie wrote me telling me of Brother Ray's death on the 2nd of this month, and I have been wanting to write to you ever since, but just did not know how to go about it. I always felt very sorry for Ray as he met with his great misfortune so early in life, but not for him marrying so wonderful a woman as yourself. I don't know what had become of him. All of us must cross the river of mystery someday, and when the messenger comes for us, we must go without protest. He was younger than myself, and yet many die earlier than he. I think he was 66 years old. I was 69 in December, and I'm very glad that he went first. I do not know how he could have gotten along without you, but God knows best. To his will we must all bow. Julius Irvine, San Francisco.